Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! 12 rounds of boxing for the WBO World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks with stars and stripes trim. His weight, 221 and three quarter pounds. He comes from Kansas City. His professional record, undefeated, 28 and 0, 24 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, the challenger, Tommy, the Duke, Boris. And across the ring in the red corner, wearing the white trunks, with red, gold, and black trim, weighing an even 225 pounds. Originally from Jacksonville, Florida, he now fights for the Triple Threat Gym in Newark, New Jersey. This 1988 Olympic gold medal champion is now undefeated as a professional with a record of 17 and 0, 12 KOs. Ladies and gentlemen, the WBO World Heavyweight Champion, Merciless Ray Mercer. Both fighters doing some pacing here. Oh. Marcel Morrison, you already got your instructions in the dressing room, all right? Give me a good clean fight and I will not bother neither one of you. Two things you must remember. Obey my commands and most important, protect yourself at all times. Check hands and good luck to the both of you. Both of them have a good sweat going. Tommy Morrison goes over and puts his head down and prays for a moment with his assistant, Doug Drager. That's right. a tradition of his. Right. These two chomping at the bit to get at each other. Morrison feels that Mercer has a bit of a soft belly. That it's Mer that Morrison's conditioning is what will tell the tale. And here we go. Round one is scheduled for 12. Very few think it will last anywhere close to that. Morrison says he wants to crouch, give Mercer angles. Mercer immediately says that didn't hurt. Morrison feels that Mercer doesn't have very good balance. He says he can make Mercer look silly with the angles and the crouching. Stick and run for Morrison as he tries to throw the jab. And Morrison, the jab, the body, the uppercut. Mercer taking his time as Tony Perez separates them. Well, right off the bat, Morris has landed some decent body punches, and Mercer finally landed a punch of his own, a little left uppercut. It seemed to bother Morrison a little bit. He tried retaliating with his own left uppercut, but missed. Both these guys look a little tight right now, a little, uh, little anxious. Morrison, the more active boxer in the opening moments of the fight. Shopping uppercut from Mercer. Morrison bows down. Well, Tony Perez shouldn't let, and I doubt. Yep. Oh, Morrison, <laughs> and he followed up with the left, and he buzzed Mercer with that. Is Mercer's holding on to the back of his neck? Morrison going after Mercer as the crowd erupts. Mercer trying to come back at him. Morrison landing the heavy punches. Final minute of the first round. Crowd yelling, Duke. Tommy Morrison, at least in the first round thus far, showing he's for real. Crowd cheering, but the uppercut missed. See, Tommy Morrison doing something that leads me to believe that he's he's a little nervous and over anxious right now. He's he's grabbing onto Mercer after he misses or lands a couple punch punches, trying to catch his breath. Uh, he's got to really settle into this fight. It looks like looks like Mercer's a little bit more relaxed, even though he's gotten the worst of it so far. Okay. And Morrison landing again, and then a classic loop in the right hand. Three real quick punches landed by Morrison. First round to Morrison. Just start digging his body a little more. Okay. Rinse out, guys. 
gang. Understand? Rent, rent, man. Rent out. Let me cook by a little more. Now the jab, you're not using the jab. Use the jab a little more. Use the jab a little more. Let's take a look back. Here's Morrison landing that patented right, right hand of the body, right uppercut, then left hook. And that's really what buzzed Ray Mercer in that first round there. Here's another look at it. To the body, right up the middle now, and then sets that head up. Bingo for the left hook. Hit him high up on the temple. If that was on the chin, that might have done a little bit more damage. Here's another look at it. Same thing. Right up the middle, pops the head up. Bingo. And that's what you want to do. You want to slice that left hook across and try to catch him on the end of the chin. Overwhelming 43% of See how Mercer responds to a first round that we believe was won by Tommy Morris. I'd say there's no doubt about that Morris won that first round. <laughs> Morrison missing three times wildly. That takes a lot of that takes a lot out of your system missing with big hard punches like that. So take his time, wait until the punch the opportunity is there for him to land a good short shot. This left hook from Mars. Okay, break, break, break. Remember, everyone seems to feel the longer it goes, the more it favors Mercer. Morrison would come out stronger. This is not a big surprise here. Ooh. Well, there's uh, Mercer holding behind the head, using the right uppercut, and Tony Perez really not saying anything about it, and that's an illegal tactic, finally yeah. does. Sure, the crowd saw it, and finally Perez did as well. But Perez let, uh, letting him get away with it again here, but let him get away with three uppercuts on the inside. Morrison with the left hook. Mercer breathing rather heavily right now and doing something he's not really noted for and that's backing up in a fight. Looks like he's uh, breathing a little, or ble bloodied in the mouth also already. Well, his uh, lower lip was split in the Burke Cooper fight and perhaps it is again here. Looks to be. Went to go in the second round. What might have done it was that right uppercut in the first round, really, that off the body shot than the right uppercut. That has a tendency, really, to make that mouthpiece bounce off your teeth and uh, injure your gums or injure your lip. All right, then lose. Mercer's really using some dirty tactics in there. He's using a forearm across the face. Uppercut for Morrison. Crowd responding to that. Well, that's been the big punch, the uppercut. Morrison just really getting the better of, of Ray Mercer. And a left hand for Morrison connects. Another good round for Tommy Morrison. I doubt if you've seen the end of Ray Mercer, though. He's uh, He's been in this type of battle before, and I'm sure he's going to uh, uh, stay in this fight. In the, uh, under the first right Underneath, up the middle. Okay. Straight up the middle. Underneath, ready. understand? Okay. Now, when you're outside, you got to use your face more. Planning with the jab, then the right hand up hook. You're loading up on the right, right hand too much. Okay. You got to add the hook to it. Work the whole body, though. You're only working the head. Okay. You're not throwing no body shots. Okay. All right? Percy Richardson working real well on that okay. cut on Mercer's on left. And work your free hand. You got to hurry him in the body. Okay. Okay. Corner. Relax and get it done. Well, the wrap on the box is where they both lack defense. And thus far, really, Mercer's defense has been the one that's been suspect. Right. Well, Morrison is a lot more technical. He keeps his hands up better and moves his head left and right better. Mercer's uh, pretty much a stationary target. Mercer said after the Damiani fight, he learned that he really had to learn some defense. He was tired of getting hit. Well, he hasn't exhibited it thus far here in the third round. Well, he is bleeding heavily, and the more 
that mouth bleeds, the more you swallow that blood, the more nauseous it can make you and really upset your stomach during the course of the fight. And he's got a long way to go, 12 rounds altogether. Okay, Morrison thus far turning a lot of people into believers here, midway through the third round. Boy, he looks as sharp as any heavyweight in the world right now. It okay, hurt him in a way that early in his career he was in Rocky V, so a lot of the skeptics said, well, sure, he's an actor, but can he fight? So he's had to overcome that acting role, and he's doing it with a vengeance here, the right hand. Well, the uppercut's really been a weapon. No, that's his bread and butter punch, right hand to the body, right uppercut, and it... It ceases to amaze me that way. Right. Everybody's isn't said, trying to move out of the way of it. But everybody said, look out for the left hook. Here comes that right uppercut. Well, he's got power in both hands. He's exhibited that in many of his previous fights. You're not going to believe that that little roar of the crowd was the arrival of Donald Trump with Marla Maples. Mm -hmm. Just a little I know who I'd be diversion here. I know who I'd be roaring for. Inside of 30 seconds, remaining in the third round. Well, Morrison wasn't, or Mercer wasn't kidding when he said he really worked on boxing in training camp here because he is moving backwards and boxing a little bit like I've never seen him before. Oh, ooh, that was the best punch Mercer's thrown. Chopping right hand as the third round comes to a close. Well, just proving once again that there is no quit in Ray Mercer. Okay. There's Mercer taking that Ooh. patented right hand of the body, right uppercut. Of course, that left hand following short. Bingo, that chopping right hand doesn't do anybody any justice. Really, Another just right and a left. Pasting uh, uh, Mercer in the corner here. Now here now this right, is right at the end of the right, round, Joe. Right over the top. Right there, and Mercer saw it, Morrison saw it coming. Saw it, tried to put his right hand up there to deflect it, but uh, it did sneak in. Tommy Morrison is extremely accurate with his bombs. And I credit that to Tommy Vergetz, because Tommy Vergetz has really worked hard with uh, Tommy Morrison on uh, the mitts and the, uh, the body bag, perfecting his technique. No, no, oh. no, no, no punching, no punching. Total punches uh, through rounds one through three, 37 thrown by Mercer, nine landed. 42 thrown, 25 landed for Morrison. And Mercer sneaks another right hand, and Mercer now comes on the attack with two right hands. And here comes Mercer to the delight of the crowd. It has been Morrison to this point, now Mercer trying to turn it. Okay, break! Break! Now he covers up. And Mercer hanging on with the left hand. The left hand from Mercer! Same punch he caught him with in the round before. Mercer jumped in with the left, uh, right uppercut and got countered with a great left hook by Tommy Morrison. But Mercer is really coming on in this round, evening things up a little bit. Morrison looking tired here in the fourth round with a minute to go. He kept emphasizing his outstanding conditioning. Well, we shall see if that was just talk or not. His yeah. mouth is wide open here. He's breathing very hard. And now the Mercer crowd comes to his support. And Mercer lands, and Morrison responds with the left hook. Break! Break in! The right from Mercer. Tony Perez separates them inside of 30 seconds remaining in this fourth round. Mercer showing bounce in his legs. Oh, that's... 
Final seconds of the fourth round. Mercer has been holding on. Holding on, but coming on also. He's really getting himself back into this fight. Well, Ray Mercer's round in the fourth. And Morrison breathing heavily over in his corner. to go low. Use the body. It means you have to change your levels. Relax, recover. Even flow. You got to change your levels. You got to follow up with your punches. Right? What you're trying to do is you're letting him throw first and then you're covering where he's in too tight. You can't throw him. Right. Now's the time to pick it up. Spit it out. Spit it out. Right to the jab. Jab, jab. There's Mercer that, with the right. Right, right over the top. He doubled it up on it and, uh, of course, just had uh, Morrison covering up after that. You heard Tommy Borgen tell Tommy Morrison that he was getting away from the game plan to start working the body more. Right, he wants him to go back, but he wants him to relax, too. Like I said, he looked real anxious and uptight at the beginning of this fight, and that'll wear you out in itself, just that nervousness. Mercer with the two good right hands. And now Mercer on Morrison in the corner. And Mercer's all over him, and Morrison in trouble. And Morrison goes down for the first time in his career. And that is it. That's it. The it is fight it. Is over. Ray Mercer has won it. He successfully defended his WBO Heavyweight Championship. <laughs> Woo. Boy, what a flurry of punches Ray Mercer put together there. Tommy Morrison does not know what town he's in. The fifth round for Ray Mercer, handing Tommy Morrison the first loss after 28 straight victories in his career. Tommy Morrison's being told the fight is over. He's still telling him he wants to go on and fight, yet he doesn't realize the fight's over. That's how hard a punches he took. He really is in another world right now. It's going to take him a few minutes to recuperate. Mayhem in the ring. Wait until you Mercer supporters came running in. Oh, well. You know, at the beginning of this fight, it looked like Mercer was going to be the one ending up on the canvas, but you knew he wasn't going to quit. You knew he's been down this road before, and it came on beautifully. Mike Marley, you had Tommy Morrison pitching the shutout through three rounds, and then Mercer just came on in the fourth and devastating there in the fifth. Well, looking at the bigger picture, I don't think that Tommy Morrison is finished. He's only 22 years old. Obviously, this was too big a step for Morrison right now, but he did dominate the fight through the first three rounds, the fourth round, uh, and great survival tactics by Ray Mercer. Got to give him credit. He stuck to the fight plan. You heard Hank Johnson send him out of the corner and said, now's the time to pick it up. He did an explosive finish, and... Uh, and, uh, you know, that's the way this fight had to end. I mean, uh, started as a slugfest, and it ended with bombs away, Ray Mercer. Well, let's take a look at it, Joe. Score. 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 All right, Joe's going to head up into the ring now. Mike Marley with us, and here comes Mercer on the attack, and right at this point, Morrison's out of it. He, he was out on his feet, precisely, Len. He was out of it, groggy. I mean, he doesn't know what's hitting him at that point. Well, those are damaging blows right there. He was out of it. Four, five, six. Wow. Ref Morrison could have been seriously hurt there. You're exactly right. Referee Tony Perez should have stepped in a little bit sooner. Take another look, and you can count him. At this point, Morrison's out of it right here, after that left hand. Now, from this point on, this is the damage. Three, four, five, six, seven. Mm. And finally went down for the first time in his career. And Ray Mercer, victorious. And right now, Len, we got uh, the doctor examining. Tommy sure. Morrison is on his stool. I think he's still out to lunch. Now he's up. He still looks groggy. He absorbs some punishing blows, as you can see from those replays. Well, let's send you up to the ring to Michael Buffer for the official announcement. Free Joe Cortez steps in to stop the bout. Pardon me, referee Tony Perez stops it at 28 seconds. Of the fifth round, the winner by TKO victory and still 
WBO World Heavyweight Champion, Merciless Ray Harrison. So it has been a stunning night in the heavyweight division. First the announcement that the Mike Tyson event.